Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video I'm going to talk about the power of black and white photo editing in Adobe Lightroom, and maybe when you should use black and white versus keep a photo in color. But let's begin with this photo and a case where black and white can actually save a photo that you might have thought was bad or a mess up in the original color. So I'm just going to reset to original here, and you know this photo, I was walking, it's a little bit blurry, and you know it's just kind of, it's a mess up. but it does have some interesting lines. We did capture all these lights um, getting some shutter blur. And perhaps we could still salvage this photo and make it interesting because it's not necessarily about the color. The, this photo is much more about the lines, the motion, and just kind of the energy of this scene. So a simple way to make a photo black and white is head over to the color section. I'm simply going to take the saturation slider and turn it all the way down. So we've removed all the color from the photo and immediately our eyes can get rid of one distraction, which is color, and now begin to look at the photo anew. So in my opinion, I think it's still workable, even though it's blurry and shaky, that adds to the energy of the scene. We don't necessarily have to throw this photo away. Additionally, when you use black and white, you can now adjust other things, just like in color, like the contrast, the exposure, highlight shadows, everything like that. And we let the more interesting elements of the photo, like the angles and the lines and the shapes and the motion shine through while removing the distraction of some of the less than perfect, like the complements of all the colors and the lighting and everything working together. So I'll show you another example where I've saved a photo that wasn't necessarily that good by turning it black and white. So here is a black and white photo and here's the original. So some problems that I see in the original, this was shot at night in low light conditions. So we've got a very large amount of noise and grain around the photo. Uh, a lot of the colors are this muddy yellow green, which doesn't look that good because of the, the lamps and the lighting. And really the best parts of this image, in my opinion, are the lines, especially these angles, the contrasting light and shapes that are happening from the light and the silhouetted figure walking under the bridge. So a simple fix for this is remove all this muddy yellow color and actually make the grain work in our advantage is by lowering the saturation. Now we're letting the contrast between light and dark and silhouette and all these lines work together a little bit better. We're also now taking something that might have been a defect like all the noise and grain that was in the low light shot and now it's working towards our aesthetic of making this shot a lot more grungy and gritty in mood. And again, you can edit your photo as normal, adjust the exposure and contrast to your liking. But here, I think we're telling a lot better story with the photo in black and white, rather than this kind of odd low light shot with muddy colors. Now, those are two examples where I think the photo is a lot more focused and improved by making it black and white. However, let me also show you a couple examples of maybe when not to make something black and white and when it's better in color. So here's a photo of a book and it's got a nice bright red cover. And I'd say color is one of the key elements of this photo that makes it interesting, a bright red book. And you can see when I desaturate this photo, now we just have a, a grayish book against a grayish background and it just looks blah overall. Here's a little less strong of an example, um, just a shot through kind of like a sidewalk alleyway. I think the most alluring aspect of this photo is that green color and how the light is playing in this photo, the shadows, and even this neon sign with the red and blue. And although it might not look horrible, if we take the saturation out of it, in my opinion, it loses its key flavor, which is kind of that dash of red and blue in the neon sign, all this nice color of green and the lights playing off of the leaves. So consider the elements of your photo and whether color is playing an important role and you know the great thing about editing photos is you can always just try it and see how it looks and see if it's getting the mood that you want. For example, here's a photo that I would say is in between. It's a nice fall shot of this city downtown area and you do get some nice aspects of color in it because the sun is kind of setting. We have a nice gradient in the sky. Got the trees turning a nice orangish brown color. However, if we desaturate it, we also get an interesting mood because we've got a nice interplay of dark and light colors contrasting each other. So this would really depend on the mood that we're trying to elicit with this edit 
and whether it work it's working together in a set of other photos. But you know, this one's something where I think you have the option. I think it looks kind of interesting either way. So those are some examples of salvaging a photo with black and white, maybe when not to do black and white, and just how to do it in general using the color saturation sliders and adjusting all the different things afterwards. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like on it below and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube for more editing tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.